This is the fastest laptop processor you can get in any PC. The Ryzen 9 hx 3 d doesn't only have a ridiculous name, but pretty ridiculous specs as well. This 16-core monster from AMD can boost all the way up to 5.4 gigahertz and has 144 megabytes of cache with its 3D vCache technology. For the foreseeable future, this CPU is going to be available only in one laptop, which is the new ROG Strix SCAR 17. If you're going to want to buy it, the pricing has not yet been announced, but it will most certainly be well over $3,000. It is going to be paired with an RTX 4090 and most likely started 32 gigs of DDR5, which I think you should upgrade to 64 because of the other ridiculous specs and the ridiculous price. It's kind of like you're trying to save some money by putting budget tires on a Ferrari. It just doesn't make sense. Welcome back to another video. So this is going to be the laptop to get if you want to absolutely embarrass pretty much anyone with a high-end gaming PC. So on average, this CPU is about 15% faster than its non 3D vCache counterpart. And it's pretty interesting to see the scaling. So if you go like a lot lower down to higher power efficiency, so at 40 watts, this thing actually outperforms the non 3D vCache variant by almost a quarter. However, once you start going up to 70 watts and so on, it's only about 10%. So if you're after maximum performance at maximum power efficiency, then this is the CPU for you. Also, just keep in mind, these are AMD's own benchmarks, so take them with a grain of salt. Now, this thing is only going to be available in one laptop for the foreseeable future, which is probably because these chips are insanely expensive to make, and there's probably not that much demand for the super high-end laptop market, because this thing is approaching $4,000, which is a lot. Unless you're a MacBook Pro user, then you sort of need to spend $4,000 to even get like a decent machine with a decent SSD and a decent amount of RAM. So Intel at this point really can't compete because this is their maximum most powerful laptop processor and it already gets outperformed by the regular version of this AMD CPU and now there's this 3D vCache version which is even better and of course you can't even compare Intel and AMD in terms of their power efficiency because Intel is still under Intel 7 which is basically like a very good 10 nanometer process which is why their processors need to run so much hotter to sort of reach the same levels of performance as AMD's CPUs. But to be honest, Intel is still insanely impressive for what they can do with their old 10 nanometer process. And it's definitely going to be very interesting to see what Intel is going to be able to do when they are finally going to be moving to TSMC's free nanometer process by the end of 2024. And Intel 4, which is like a very good 7 nanometer process, is coming by the end of this year. Basically, it's going to be very interesting to see what Intel can do when they actually finally catch up to AMD with their process node. So let me know what you think about this crazy CPU from AMD. Personally, I don't really like these super high performance laptop CPUs because I don't really move around much and I don't really have a need to have a super high performance PC with me always because these laptops run super hot. I mean, the CPU can go over 55 watts and the RTX 4090 mobile version can run at almost 200 watts, I think, which is a absolutely ridiculous amount for a laptop to cool. So I'd rather just have a big desktop that has a lot of fans, a lot more surface area to spread out the heat, and I'd rather just have a thinner, better battery life laptop to bring with me when I need a computer. However, obviously, if you move around a lot or if you're maybe a trucker who wants to have the ultimate gaming experience on the road, then of course this makes a lot of sense. Thank you for watching and I wish you a nice day.